Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. We're gonna do day three of our batik project. So you can see that I have taken my picture off of the cardboard and it's all ready to go. And I got a thing of spray dye instead of getting regular dye because remember I told you that you can't use hot water dye to do the batik step on this because it will melt your wax. You have to have cold water dye and that's the easiest way to getting it. So your next step is just gonna be to take your picture and crumble it up. You can do that over the trash can if you want because when you open it up, all the bits of wax are gonna fall out. Shake it off. And I'm gonna crumble mine one more time, but don't do it any more than twice because you don't want all the wax to break off. You definitely want as much wax as possible to stay on. There we go. Now notice that I covered my work area today for two reasons. One, I knew I was gonna shake all the wax off onto it. And two, when you're spraying the dye, you need to make sure that you definitely cover your workspace because otherwise it's gonna stain. So I'm using blue. You can choose whichever color you want. Follow the directions on, the, on your tube. So now I'm going to let that dry. I can pat off the excess with a paper towel if I want. My instructions say it requires at least 30 minutes to dry completely, so I'm going to leave it alone for that amount of time. And then tomorrow I will show you our last step when you get to iron all of the wax off. You'll need lots of newspaper. See you later.